boys and girls. It is Thursday, April 23rd today, and I am going to go over today's objective and our important math vocabulary for you so that you can get started with your math. So today's objective is actually the same as yesterday's objective, so it's going to sound super familiar to you. It says, today we'll find the total number of objects in rectangular arrays by finding sums of equal groups. So you repeat after me. Today we'll find the total number of objects, your turn, nice job, in rectangular arrays by finding sums of equal groups. Good job. And our first vocabulary word for today is array. So yesterday we talked about the definition of an array. We also talked about how you pronounce the word array. So it's array like a ray of sunlight, except it's pushed together to make one word. So array, can everybody please say array? Great job. So an array is an arrangement of objects in rows, which go horizontally from left to right, and columns, so from top to bottom, or vertically. So yesterday we talked about how you can make two equations for an array. So you can make an equation using the columns, and then you can make an array, or sorry, you can make an equation for an array using the rows. So I'm going to start with the column section first. So all I do is I can see that there are four columns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I needed four add-ins in my equation. Now to figure out what my add-end is, I actually just count the total number of objects in each column. And I can see that there are one, two, three, four objects in each column. In the next column, I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four. I'm noticing a pattern here. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So my add end just repeats itself. We call this repeated addition. It just repeats itself. And then the last line after the equal sign is, of course, the total or the sum. So all I have to do is add up these add ends or count up the total number of objects in my array. I'm going to add this up. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. If I can't add that up in my head, I can count my total number of objects. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. Now, for my row equation, I have four lines because I have four rows. One, two, three, four. So I knew that I was going to have four add-ins. And then I have one more line for the total number of objects in my array. So to figure out what my add-end is going to be, all I have to do is count up how many objects I have in each row. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh boy, noticing that same pattern again. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to guess that my last add-in is going to be four also because it's following a pattern. We call this repeated addition. Okay, and then the total should be 16 because eight plus eight equals 16. If I can't add that up in my head, no worries, I can just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so now it is time for me to model a couple of problems. So I'm going to model the first problem for you, and it says draw an array with three rows and two columns. So just like yesterday, I'm going to start by choosing a shape. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm going to go with a star today, just like yesterday. And then I'm going to separate them into three rows and two columns. Yesterday we started with two columns, so I'll show you how you can start with three rows. So 
one, two, three. So I have the start of a row, okay? Or three rows, actually. And then I'm gonna have two columns. I have actually one column right now. So I'm gonna make my second column. So that's the start of my second column. And I know I'm only supposed to have three rows and two columns. So since I'm only supposed to have two columns, I don't need to draw any more stars. I can stop here. So I have to now fill in these two blank spots because I should have a full second column. And then I stop drawing my stars. So I'm gonna use some colors today to just show you what I'm doing. So I have two columns. I'll circle those columns in pink, one and two. So two columns, check. And then I'm supposed to have three rows and I'm gonna circle my rows for you today in green, one, two, three. Okay, so I have three rows, so check. And then down below, it has a spot for me to write an equation and the total. So I get to decide because it didn't tell me to make an equation for my columns or my rows specifically. I just get to choose one. I'm going to start with my row equation because rows comes first on this list. So I have three rows. Remember, my rows were my green. Okay, my rows were my green. So I'm going to make three add-in spots. One, two, three. And they're going to be connected by a plus sign. And then all I have to do is find out what the add-in actually is. And I do that by counting up the total number of objects in each of my three rows. So row one has one, two stars in it. My second row has one, two stars in it. And you guessed it, my third row has one, two stars in it. So all together, I have two, four, six stars all together. So my total is six. All right, so I'm gonna model number two for you. Number two says draw an array with four columns and 20 total objects. So unlike in number one, I actually cannot choose if I'd like to start with rows or columns because it tells me specifically which to start with, four columns. And then it doesn't tell me how many rows I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So if I have four columns, I'm just gonna use this same shape as before, one, two, three, four. So I can't add any more columns to my array. So I'm gonna start creating my rows, right? I'm gonna start to create my rows by adding more stars to my array. And I'm gonna stop when I get to the number 20. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I'm going to stop because I'm supposed to have 20 total objects. And now you can see in my array, I've also created rows. I didn't mean to because it didn't tell me to, but we do create rows naturally when we create columns because when we add objects to each column, we're also creating rows across, all right? So now I'm going to create my equation and I'm just going to do my equation using my columns. So I had four columns, so I know that I need to have four add-ins. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to connect each of those add-ins with a plus sign. And then of course, after my equal sign is where the total will go. So to find out what my add-ins are, all I have to do is count how many objects I have in each column. So remember, columns go from top to bottom. So I'm counting my stars from the top down to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. You guessed it, this is probably going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. If I ended up with an atom that was different, that would be a really big clue to me that I had made some sort of mistake and I would need to go back to recheck my work. So now I find the total. So I can do that a couple of ways. I can either add five plus five and then five plus five, so 10, 20. Or I could just skip count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20. Or I could count my total number of stars whatever works best for you. But either way you go, you're going to end up with a total of 20. All right, so now that I have gone over today's objective and I've modeled a couple of problems for you, it's your turn to get started in your independent work. So you're going to head to Google Classroom. You will find the two options for today. Um, option one, as always, is to print off the worksheets and to do them by hand. Option two is to follow this Seesaw template, which you will edit to submit your work pages to me. Now, if you choose option one or two, it doesn't matter. You still have to do a math presentation, which you will find by following the Seesaw math presentation link. And then you will submit a presentation for your final check for understanding problems one and two. Hopefully this multiplication is going really smoothly. And if not, feel free to jump in during my office hours and I am happy to review it with you then. Good luck!